Riches. But legislation Trump signed bars companies from investing in the country because of its abysmal record on human rights, an issue the president has given scant attention in talks with Pyongyang. Heading into his second meeting with the North Korean leader, the president is planning to pitch him on a vision of North Korean modernization, White House officials have said. Trump dangled the prospect of material wealth for Kim's impoverished homeland on Monday, telling reporters, I think he'll have a country that will set a lot of records for speed in terms of an economy. It's not clear how the president is proposing to help Kim realize his economic goals. A provision Trump signed into law as a part of a 2017 sanctions bill cracking down on Iran, Russia, and North Korea could prove a crippling obstacle to any American overture, experts said. The law prohibits imports of anything produced or manufactured by a North Korean citizen, and it would fall on Congress, not the president, to repeal the measure. Because of U.S. law today, the general counsel of any U.S. company is not going to recommend going into North Korea because of human rights abuses, said Victor Cha, who served as President George Bush's top advisor on North Korea. The Trump administration, he said, needs to talk about human rights if they're going to achieve what they want to achieve. That means Trump could ink a nuclear deal with North Korea that lifts some sanctions in exchange for Kim's promise to give up his nation's nuclear weapons, but he would have to rely on Congress to repeal the 2017 law in order for any American company to significantly invest in North Korea. That's unlikely, barring a deal that addresses human rights in a substantive manner.